Welcome back to another episode of EVTV. I'm Sam. And I'm Zosha. Last week, Mountain Youth hosted a free bowling night for high school students from around the valley. If you weren't able to make it, you might be wondering what you missed. But we'll spare you the worry with Sam and Langston's coverage of the event. We're here at the Back Bowl in Eagle, Colorado to learn more about free bowling night. Let's go! I'm here with Eric, who's going to tell us more about free bowling night for high school students. So free high school bowling today is provided by Mountain Youth. It's around 40 people and they have drinks, pizza, everything provided for high school students basically. Woohoo! High five! I'm Sam and this is Sam. Sam, tell me, why did you come here tonight? Uh, just to have fun and just hang out with my friends. Nice! We are here with Kimberly. Kimberly, tell me about your night tonight. Um, uh, it's going pretty fun. I'm here with my friends. We're all uh, seniors from Battle Mountain. What would you say this free bowling night for high school students is doing for our community? I think it's bringing it a little closer together. You know, I see all kinds of people here you know, all, from all different demographics and backgrounds. And, you know, a lot of lanes are mixed together friend groups. Because, you know, you got five, six people at a lane, you don't have that many people showing up at once. So I think it's good. It helps connect people, make friends. It's just good to see some diversity here as well. That was a fantastic answer. I'm Philip, and I came here to go bowling and have a good time. Good answer. Now, you know what I need you to do, Philip? I need you to knock the rest of those p pins down. Get it, get it, Philip. Philip, Philip, Philip. He got it. Oh! My man, Philip, high five. This has been Sam and Langston reporting from EVTV. Thanks, guys. What a striking event. In the midst of a technology crackdown, one group of Eagle Valley High School students has decided to express their creativity in a unique way. For more, we go to Emmanuel. Minecraft, a simple game with no rules, almost free region on creativity and exploration of an endless world. Some students try to use Minecraft for a project, the goal being to showcase their creativity. These students unfortunately found out that it was blocked on every school device and Wi-Fi. We spoke with them to hear about their story. My group and I were trying to do a project for English, and uh, we tried to use it on the computer lab computers, which we use for eSports games, and it was either blocked and we, or we couldn't download it, and we talked to the IT department, and they weren't very helpful at all. The ban was really like annoying because we couldn't work on our project in class, so we had to we had we we could only work outside of school, and that was sometimes complicated or a lot of the times really because our schedules don't line up. So, uh, work time was definitely a huge issue because we could only do schoolwork at home for this project. So anytime we were in class, we were brainstorming, which is kind of just like. Uh, we could do this or we could do that, but you can't really quantify what you can do in Minecraft just by brainstorming. Uh, I am usually the first one to get home, but um, my other group members, uh, they stay after school doing projects and uh, clubs and whatnot, and so we like, it, 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 the schedule was all over the place. It was kind of weird to coordinate, but in the end we got it figured out. It just could have been better. Whew, the band. To be honest, the only thing that it really impacted me was just my sleep schedule. Uh, it was already a bit screwed up, but because of the, because of me and my group members trying to uh, go home and finish it there, uh, we were just staying up too late, just messing our sleep schedules entirely. There is more to this issue than just not being able to play Minecraft. The Minecraft ban really didn't, uh, specifically, it didn't really impact me, but as a whole, I think it bo it bugs me a lot that like the IT department and like a, a lot of the higher ups are able to micromanage us like that, and it just makes me feel like it, I don't feel like very respected in this school in that in that sense in the fact that I can be like very easily like controlled and like that can apply to the larger student body. Like I I feel a lot of the time we're not seen as students but just as like little like chess pieces to move around a board, you know? Who knew a simple English assignment could run into a major issue? This has been Emmanuel. 
Here in Eagle Valley, there are a lot of opportunities for after high school. One of those opportunities is AmeriCorps. You may have seen them around the school, but few people know much about the program. To find out more, we go to Will and Kim. Let's see if he knows what AmeriCorps is. What? AmeriCorps? What? Do you know what AmeriCorps is? No. See? Another example. Let's get another perspective. Excuse me, do you know what AmeriCorps is? No. See? Walking down the English hallway, you might have seen some AmeriCorps representatives located here. But the question remains, what is AmeriCorps and what services do they provide for our EVHS students? So let's go. Come on. AmeriCorps is national service and I'd say it's a good time. We do things like one-on-one -on -one mentorship, we do tutoring and we do in-class support. Um, but our job goes all over the place if we have kids that are struggling with like legal problems, we go to court with them. I think it's important that our job expands beyond school doors so that we can be inclusive and helpful in every way possible. We also have GSA, which is Gay Straight Alliance. Um, you don't have to be in the LGBTQ community to come. You could just be an ally or somebody who cares a lot about um, trying to work on like, the injustices in the world. Flags, flags, and more flags. It can be a struggle to know what to do after high school. It's good to know AmeriCorps is a good option. You can take a gap year and do AmeriCorps instead of going straight to college. So like if you want to explore another field like I did, you can do that. Or if you just have no clue what you want to do, you can earn more college college money and it'll pay for most of your, you know, freshman year. And then you can also do more than one term. So you can stack two terms and get more money and put that towards college. And maybe while you're doing AmeriCorps, you can figure out what you want to do for college. I want to see if I want to be a teacher. There's, you know, you can test out different fields. So I took this job and now I'm seeing if I want to be a teacher or not and I get to explore a new place. So it's really awesome. The history of AmeriCorps seems to be long and in depth, but what's the history of our representatives? Well, I think it's a unique opportunity because I feel like I learn more from the students than they could ever learn from me. Um, and I really like to get to view other people's perspectives on life. I just like the kids I work with I think they teach me how to be more creative. They're very creative people, and I'm just like, wow, I would have never thought of that if I didn't, like, talk to these kids and them, like, you know. They're just very smart. <laughs> Make me think. One thing that I've seen time and time again is that students at this high school um, are some of the most resilient people I've ever met. They go through so many things and they just become stronger and stronger and it's really uh, personally inspiring to see how most of the students in the high school learn to adapt to change. I think that's really cool. With so many great opportunities, it's crazy to think not many students know about AmeriCorps. Will, do you know anything about AmeriCorps? What's AmeriCorps? Case and point. We always try to do our best to see potential in others and try to bring out that potential. Um, sometimes students don't see potential in themselves, so that's probably like one of the most unique parts about our job is that we don't help people, we help people help themselves. I honestly would not have wanted to do AmeriCorps anywhere else. This community is really unique. I really appreciate all of the help that the teachers give us um, and that the students just kind of accept us and invite us into be like a part of the family of EVHS. Thanks for watching another episode of EVTV. We'll see you next week.